to write my name and gave it to me for Hanukkah. You give me the important things, like metro cards, water bottles, and the fresh from the dry laundry. You share your thoughts, your colds, and your summaries of current events. You're my speed dial, Wikipedia, telling me everything I need to know about everyone. And I prefer your warm voice to the buzzing of my computer. And you let me in on something else. Something that I've been grasping for. Stories of Ishmael and Isaac, the fasting of Yom Kippur, lit candles with me on Hanukkah, and you took a pen and a Starbucks cup to teach me my grandfather's alphabet. I feel like I know myself a little better. So I want to tell you how I love you, because I'm too afraid that four-letter word has lost significance, and I want us to have meaning. You are not like the cheap carbohydrate lovers I've had in the past. Sugar rushes followed by crushes. More steady flow of energy released from a protein-enriched omelet. <laughs> <laughs> I like making breakfast with you in the morning. And napping with you when you're tired. And watching the Big Bang Theory. I'm mostly jokes are funny. <laughs> you are comforting like my pillow. Or my foster mother's hugs. Or a steady, low voice. This is healthy. So I hope you know I only call you fun and licking <laughs> to make your gorgeous blue eyes forget to have anything they focus on. No, you may not be the most handsome man in the world, <clears throat> the smartest, or even the sweetest, but you are the best combination of those traits I have ever met. So rent a car in California, because you can, and drive me around the world. <laughs> like Google, find a freeway across the Pacific, or maybe we could just fly to Hawaii one day. Some of us don't get to go there on business. Well, I guess what I'm trying to say is, happy 25th birthday. <laughs> <laughs>